Hi guys, Natasha with Natasha Scrabble Corner. Uh, so, um, I recorded, you know, some sort of process video. So, I picked up this frame a while ago um, in uh, one of the craft store, either Hobby Lobby or Michaels, of course, on sale for sure. So, and uh, uh, my husband found a um, um, Japanese fan about the frame size and I said well I guess I need to do a collage a picture collage and that's uh, exactly what I've done here so um, this is the frame for um, four images and in the middle it's a metal um, platform where you need to use the magnets. And unfortunately, I didn't um, bring magnets um, from the trip from Japan uh, where I was um, with Irina and Phoebe. Uh, so, and I uh, gathered some moments, uh, did a little bit of digital collaging. Well, um, let's say from uh, let's uh, start from the center um, frame. Uh, this particular uh, image, this is the Aqualine um, Tokyo Aqualine, which is a bridge um, from across the bay towards Tokyo. And in the middle of the bay, there is a shopping center where we stopped um, uh, and uh, did a little shopping and etc. And this is the postcard that uh, Yuji and Phoebe, Yuji is Phoebe's husband, uh, picked for us um, as a gift for Irina and I. And there is another card, um, postcard that. Um, I had so anyway I used this uh, postcard in here um, in the memory of what we uh, you know visited per se vocal moments um, in here this is the postcard of Fujisan uh, and actually when we were on the uh, platform on the upper platform in here uh, we barely could see because we were in June and uh, usually you see Fujisan clearly during the winter time so we it was kind of smoky cloudy per se and we couldn't see the Fujisan but we could like barely barely see it and if you were watching the videos um, I think I was screaming in there that I can see Fujisan <laughs> So anyway, but this is um, per se very well representing image of uh, the cherry blossoms and Fujisan, which is um, uh, I pulled out this uh, print of uh, of the postcard image and digitalized, you know, overlapped it, layered it. So Fuji, this is the biggest mountain. Uh, 3,776 meters in Japan. So I was thinking it would be a really nice memento to remember. Although we didn't clearly see the Fujisan, but this is the biggest uh, pride um, of Japanese um, culture and Japanese people. So cherry blossoms and Fujisan, very well representation of Japan. Uh, so the modern uh, stage of the uh, Japan represents this um, gorgeous uh, uh, highway which uh, from uh, Chiba side towards the mid, uh, middle, um, middle midway from Chiba towards Tokyo there is this uh, port per se and from the port uh, towards Tokyo it goes under the bay so you are traveling under the water which is 
I mean, it's just amazing, uh, amazing. So um, in here, I pulled out the postcard of Tokyo Sky Tree, uh, which is the um, viewing tower and TV tower. And you can see here there are two levels, and we were on both levels. And I actually uh, trace our image uh, that's we were standing in line waiting for um, our turn to take the elevator because they are sending you on uh, elevator up to the tower till the first level and then um, another level uh, you know with a elevation so but we were standing in line uh, so, and I digitally cut out, traced out us, I found the best image I could. <laughs> so, and I overlapped on the actual postcard and it didn't have the year so I wanted to be sure to put it somewhere in here. So that is 2016, that's when we went and uh, another, um, you know, Wowzer for me, it was the bullet train, which is JR uh, tra uh, Road. Uh, it's um, their abbreviation for they have different levels of uh, trains. So JR would be representing the bullet trains. So if you need to take a bullet train, you're going to be looking for the maps of JR trains. So and while we were in Tokyo, uh, I didn't pick up um, actual our card, the card for our hotel, but it is the line of the business hotels which uh, calls Tokyo Inn. Uh, very um, inexpensive, well, what do you say, $100 in the center of the Tokyo, very not bad. Um, so, um, and I just put one of the cards, it's not per se our hotel but I wanted to you know to represent that we were staying in Tokyo in and um, I'm using the um, stickers from Daiso with the Japanese paper to give it a little bit of touch and secure uh, this particular postcards and prints out um, on the metal uh, frame okay so um, this particular um, image and picture that's um, we were in the temple and uh, uh, this is the bridge over the river and I like that picture um, usually it was kind of hot so um, all the trip I was um, running around with uh, my hair in a ponytail and uh, this probably <laughs> one of the few when I have, uh, you know, floating hair and I kind of like that look, per se, this look, but it's okay. Um, so, and uh, that was the temple where a well-known uh, image of three monkeys, uh, no see evil, no hear evil, no um, speak evil. Um, so we were very um, happy to you know visit it it was a huge um, emotional and cultural dip um, for my per, per se soul Irina enjoyed it thoroughly and we were uh, in one of the temples uh, which was a crying dragon and I picked up um, the um, bells for all my family, for myself, for my husband, and for my son, and they are—they have such a um, very light uh, jingle um, in them, and they're very um, nicely, um, you know, painted per se or decorated. So, and this particular one—it's a gold dragon. And that was the most expensive one, and uh, they were they're supposed to um, 
uh, spook out um, you know all the bad stuff because the dragon is kind of like a protector and savior per se uh, so and I uh, the gold one the most expensive one it's like bigger ball um, and that where was the charm and I kept the sticker off of the charm uh, for my honey so and I put this uh, blue round um, image from the sticker right here and um, another uh, interesting fact I don't know if that's traditional pattern or not uh, but um, those particular images the round decorative circles when you are taking a trip in elevator uh, it each elevator decorated I guess differently I, I hope I'm saying it right and on a f uh, upper panel when you are inside the elevator it lights up and one of the images was those particular circles so I'm sure it's some sort of a traditional print but I'm not you know 100% sure but it was perfect fit for this empty hole and I covered that uh, this way so um, uh, this was uh, while we were in the Tokyo sky tree uh, there is a uh, fifth level uh, fifth floor per se and it's a shopping mall and uh, and um, um, restaurants and bistros and etc and it was kind of lunch time so we were about hungry so uh, and each restaurant has um, a window with uh, the meals that they serve so you visually can choose your restaurant and if you do not understand the menu you visually can see uh, what they serve and how much it's gonna cost because it has um, you know stickers and stuff with the price tags so uh, we chose particular that one and although it's not my plate but I ate the bowl kind of similar with the uh, Russian caviar well I don't know it's Japanese caviar but yeah um, red caviar and uh, um, soup and etc so that was kind of really nice and that's per se you know it was really good size of bowl so I'm I was so happy that I found this particular image because it was well representing uh, my meal and of course green tea and in here I use some stickers you know representing the meal green tea blah blah so um, in this um, side of the frame um, it's three of us Irina, Phoebe and myself and Matt Hatter right there <laughs> we were at the shopping mall and they had a huge stand for the uh, Alice in Wonderland, the second movie. And uh, uh, so we took a picture standing right next to it and it was a uh, pretty good size. So we really enjoyed it. And at the end of the trip, um, Irina actually gifted us the um, albums Alice in Wonderland. We were crying. And this card is from Irina's album as a great memorabilia. And this is just print out, um, you know, I'm late, I'm late. Because we were always late and sleeping late and everything late. But we really enjoyed that. And um, Phoebe has like a white bag in here, so covered in a cupcake. And cupcake came also uh, with an ephemera uh, from Irina's album there. And uh, this particular image, we were shopping in the mall, and Irina was um, introducing me to uh, kimonos and all the embellishments and decoration that goes into the process of uh, wearing kimono. There are several layers, specific 
hair, specific embellishments for the hair, decoration for the hair, the purse and shoes, um, um, the fabrics um, in Kimano stores, they are just stunning. So Kimano uh, is very, you know, well, uh, still well uh, used, in, even in nowadays. Um, uh, clothing, traditional clothing, and I'm so happy that Japanese people are uh, keeping those tradition because this is absolutely unique and uh, very uh, pretty representation of their country and culture. And this is actually a, a bookmark tag that I picked up at the airport, and it has different ladies with kimanos. And I use the stickers again, uh, the um, the uh, Daiso Japanese paper stickers with the kimono embellishments, and I thought it, it came out really, really cute. So there is uh, this uh, frame of uh, my trip uh, to Japan. I'm really uh, sorry that it was so short, um, and um, we could have get going I mean really we had a blessed time and uh, I hope um, I hope uh, there would be another chance to visit um, this great country um, I'm really thrilled and uh, as Irina said um, I will definitely change my mind <laughs> about Japan and she was correct because uh, I guess I was uh, pretty overwhelmed when I first got there and um, it was a big uh, splash of um, everything absolutely new and unexpected um, and I'm uh, feeling very blessed to have um, this trip took place um, and to have such a wonderful hostess um, Phoebe and Irina. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, stay tuned for the pictures if you wish. Leave a comment. Uh,